Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on functions and graph sketching and uh, transformation. Again, an IGCSE, GCSE high tier type question here. Uh, excuse my little spots on the on the on the on the, on the screen. But never mind. Uh, the question says um, below is a sketch of y is equal to f of x, where f of x is equal to x plus three to x minus two to x minus four. Uh, the the this is a graph here. Okay, right, and, and then it says, uh, calculate the value of f of zero. Now, if if uh, x is zero, effectively, if x is zero there, zero there, and zero there, we then have three times minus two give us minus six, minus six times minus four give us plus 24. So the answer is 24. And for that, you get two marks. Okay, and the next one, says uh, on the same axis sketch the graph of y is equal to f of minus x now instead of saying f of minus x i've, I've, given, it, I've given it g of x it's so much easier to pronounce i think right so we've got uh, g of uh, x there okay so we we change for the for f of x in order to get g of x we change all the x values to minus x there. So we've got minus x there, minus x there, which got x minus x minus 2, and then minus x there, which was minus x minus 4, and that's what we got here. Now, I can factorize this to give me minus 1 into x plus 4, sorry, minus 1 into x plus 2, and that one factors also into minus 1 into x, x plus 2. So I end up with gx being uh, 3 minus x, minus 1 into x plus 2, minus 1 into x plus 4. Now, minus 1 times minus 1 will give me plus 1. So my g of x then becomes 3 minus x multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 4. Okay, now to help us sketch the graph, we're now looking for the critical points. Now, the first set we've got is for b from the original function uh, when y is zero b is uh, the, the the coordinate of the point b is going to be uh, four zero because x minus four is equal to zero so x is equal to four when y is zero there okay now the for the uh, f of minus x or g of x the equivalent point b will be in red will be minus four zero okay because when x plus 4 is equal to 0, x is minus 4. That's when y is 0. So I have the equivalent point at b, red b at minus 4, 0. Similarly, for the original function, when y is 0, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x is 2 and y is 0. So we've got 2, 0. Similarly, for, the, for g of x, y is 0, x plus 2 is equal to 0, so x is minus 2, so we end up with d being 2, 0 for the original function and minus 2, 0 for the uh, for g of x, or f of minus x. Now move on, some, some more critical points. And for when x plus 3 is 0, as with y is 0, x is minus 3, so we have uh, the point g b minus 3, 0. Similarly, the equivalent point for f of minus x or g of x is 3, 0. So that's what we got there. Okay. Now, all that points we can sketch will be the point E, which is 0, 24, and 0, 24 for both the, the original function on and of g of x. So that's what we got there. So for both functions, that point will give us uh, the point E, which is 0, 24 there. Now, we can then look for all our critical points, uh, which will help us uh, sketch the graph. So at the maximum point for original function, we at f, and the maximum point for the, uh, uh, the, the g of x is red f. The minimum point for uh, c, sorry, for the original function is where I've got my black c, and the red c for the g of, for g of x. 
And again, I can put in A there, which will help me sketch a graph, and A there. So you have to excuse my sketching because I did it by hand on PowerPoint. So what I then have is a graph similar to this one here. Now, your graph must be believable. It must be must be uh, creditable because um, even though you're not supposed to be accurate, but you need to show the relevant points here, which are as I've done here. Anyway, and that also carries two marks. And uh, for the third question, it says describe fully the single geometric transformation that maps function x onto function f of minus x. And clearly, it has got to be transformation by reflection on the y axis. Again, for that, you get another two marks for that. And for the last one, it says uh, the equation f of x equal to f of minus x has a solution of x equal to zero. Now let's check it out. Now for the original function on the left-hand side and the f of minus x or g of x on the right-hand side, we've got that now. Now for on the left-hand side, if x is zero, we've got three times minus two is minus six, and minus six times minus four gives us plus 24, as earlier. And on the right-hand side, if x is zero, three times four, sorry, three times two is six, and six times four is, is, is 24. So both sides are balanced with 24 minus 24 gives us zero. So tr truly, x equal to zero is a, is a solution. Now, it goes to say, um, it also has a posit positive solution, x, such that uh, x is greater than n and less than n plus 1, where n is a positive integer. Write down the value of n. Now, we need to indicate on our graph the position for where, the, where both graphs meet, and that's the solution. So both graphs meet there. So that's that's the x value, that's the solution there. Okay? Now we also know that this point here is 3, 0, and this point here is 4, 0. So our solution lies between uh, x equal to 3 and x equal to 4. So our answer then becomes that n is equal to 3, because x will then be greater than 3, and x is there. So x is greater than 3 and less than 4. So n is 3. So the answer will be x greater than 3 and less than 3 plus 1. Now I hope all that made some sense, and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.